I think it's a, a great thing to learn about this team that we can win ugly. Uh, I think that uh, we missed a lot of shots. We were frustrated early and we kept our composure. And I think mostly thanks to Lindsay. I, I think she's just so steady. She didn't let anybody fade a little bit after missing some shots. So I, I was really pleased we were able to win a defensive battle. Um, you know, the offense the other night we couldn't miss. Today we couldn't make a shot. And we just we kept on working on defense. We never let it get to us. So I, I was really pleased. But I thought uh, Christina Nelson was the player of the game. I mean, she made some huge plays for us, just just huge at, at times when we really needed a basket. And she was able to uh, get the offensive rebound put back. Um, she got us started on our, our stretch to get it to 20. And then taking the charge first in her career, I think. So that was, I was excited about that, too. But, uh, you know, she, she, she played really well. So I, I thought she was definitely the player of the game. Christina, it looked like she struggled in the first half guarding Davis, uh, <coughs> trying to keep up with her. What did she do to change that and also just the energy? I mean, it looked like she just was playing with a lot more energy. The second yeah, half. I think she really got determined. I think she was disappointed with her play in the first half. She gave her a little bit more of a cushion. I think she was trying to guard her a little too closely in the first half. I thought she backed off a little bit and let her come to Coco, and, and I think that was a little more successful. So she's really smart. She figured it out and, uh, and was able to guard her better in the second half. The sh your shooting, was it their defense frustrating? You know, I, I thought I was actually, it was maybe a, a third of it was us. I mean, we missed some layups, we missed some yeah. easy shots. Uh, a third of it was their defense, and a third of it was the pace. I, I think the pace of the game. They, they wanted to take so much time on offense that by the time we got to offense, we just wanted to shoot it. You know, I mean, we were just so anxious to shoot it. So I think our shot selection could have been a little better. We could have looked in a lot more. Um, but overall, I, I thought a lot of... A lot of good stuff on defense. Lindsay, that stretch in the third period where they cut it to eight, and then Christina gets the, a couple offensive rebounds. And just what changed for you guys there? I mean, did it just kind of loosen you up? Yeah, I think when um, Coco kind of made that mini run for us and got those hustle plays, that kind of revved us up a little bit and gave us that energy that we needed. Um, I thought that we were just kind of lethargic at times, and um, I thought that. We need to just get some hustle plays, get some offensive rebounds, some and ones, get, kind of get us going. And then Coco started that out for us, and then uh, we just kind of continued it on from there. Kat, you seem to turn it up a bit in the third quarter. Are you, were you conscious of that? Did Coach tell you to do something different? But you, many of your rebounds came in that stretch. Um, no, I just knew my shots weren't really falling, so I had to pick it up somewhere else in my game. So I definitely wanted to um, pick up my defense a little bit, you know, get some rebounds, get us going. Okay. Lindsay, can you describe the, the frustration when maybe the offense, I guess the shots aren't falling, and, and as a senior point guard, what do you kind of try to tell everybody to make sure they kind of stay focused and stay in the game? Yeah, I think it's definitely frustrating because I think we're definitely a, a talented offensive team. Um, but I just kept talking about just making sure we're continuing to play and that we don't let those missed shots affect what we do on a defensive end and kind of how we play and what we, how we play as a team. And I thought that uh, at times we kind of let it affect us on the defensive end and kind of let it bring our energy down. So just making sure that um, we're focusing on still playing together as a team and making sure we're getting those hustle plays and um, just trying to just still get good shots on offense. How important you mentioned it's it's important to find out that you can win ugly. How much more important is it to know that in November as opposed to maybe later on in the season? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, this this time of year we're going to see all kinds of new things, all kinds of different ways to guard us. It seems like being physical is the thing that people are choosing right now. Uh, Bree's really getting beat up inside, and and all the posts are. I think the guards got beat up a little bit in the last game, so people are trying to get up. Um, really, really bother us with the the physical play. And so we've got to learn how to adjust to that, and that's something that's going to take some time. Um, I thought the way they guarded us was, was pretty good, but we, like I said, we also <coughs> missed a lot of shots that we normally make. Normally, in that first game. I didn't hear <laughs> what did you like about your defense overall? What, what were you guys doing well? Today? I thought we communicated well. That's, some, that's been a little bit of a uh, work in progress for us. Uh, I thought we did a good job talking on the screens. We did a lot of switching. And I thought we really guarded them pretty well on the switching. I thought the post did a good job of handling the guards, and the guards did a good job of fronting the post. So I was really pleased with that.